So we're rolling? We're rolling. Recording. We're, we're on. Recording. Welcome to the uh, Gotta Have Miami uh, podcast. Episode 10. Episode 10. I know. We got the, we got the 10. And it's actually Tuesday, so we're actually filming on a Tuesday. <laughs> and uh, we're back behind uh, City Hall down in Coconut Grove, my hometown. And what I'd like to do is really take a quick little peek. And if you look right behind us, and you see that long stretch that used to be where the boat planes used to come in, because City of Miami's um, actual um, building was a Pan American building, and uh, that's where they used to have like little planes. Boat that planes or so ski planes. Tenant, uh, shopped for last year. Can't in this budget this year. They're not sure. going to get the same, same product, same budget. And uh, if you think, do you want to renew your lease of where you're at right now? Ask before they pay you, yeah, <laughs> your landlord or their agent, and say, I want to stay here another year, even if you're six months out, unless you have plans to relocate or have a different plan. Go secure your next year because some sad things for people. A lot of frustration that could have been avoided. And again, with City of uh, Miami Dade County just put put out an ordinance that says that land increase over five percent right now is the norm. The increase five percent, and even on tennis levels, we about this in the coming up, but went into effect was on day, and uh, that's something that now landlords have to. 60 days notice, and uh, even if you're a month, you have to give days, which is kind of weird, just month to month. Right. And the funny part is, if you're leaving, you give them 60 days, which is weird. Kind of, it's a little <laughs> strange. But listen, that's important for you. And uh, this is what is going to be two things uh, as we've been shifting. Uh, for Thursday, Commission did uh, three of two, uh, King being the two district four into uh, where the depot is, and back there, a lot of residents just was just. Two. And what's happening is the all of
threw it away, but then that adds even to more conspiracy. Who paid them to throw it away? away. (laughs) All right, so here we go. But again, it's very, very important that every year you do renew and make sure that you get your renewal notice. It comes in March. It is a notice that you get automatically and it'll tell you, listen, you've been automatically uh, applied. And what ends up happening and the reason why they send you the undeliverable, the interesting part too, is we didn't get the renewal, but we did get the undeliverable. undeliverable. Ah, see, oh, so, yeah, suspicious. So exactly. So suspicious minds are still working. But it's important because you, you get this renewal every March. If you don't get it, you really have to get on the property appraiser's office and it becomes your uh, issue to be able, your responsibility to get this done. Right. So did you get your renewal? I'll check. <laughs> <laughs> I had to go. I had to go. <laughs> he already knew the answer to that. <laughs> I had to go there. So, yeah, so that's a, but it's, it's been a very interesting, um, I shall say, political dynamic. And now one of the uh, big things with the, the Grove is that the actual mayor, uh, we have a system of government where the mayor is not a strong mayor as outside of like Miami-Dade County has a strong mayor. Right. So what we do is we have what they consider a weak mayor uh, kind of um, uh, governance where the five commissioners are uh, the power and then the, the, the mayor is just basically for show. It's, a, it's almost like a king. But <laughs> one of the things that the mayor can do and we've been asking uh, him to do from a uh, from standpoint is he can actually veto the decision. Uh, decision. And then the decision, if it's vetoed, then what ends up happening is that you have to have a four to, four to one to override it. So that's kind of important. Uh, and maybe, maybe it'll happen, maybe it won't happen. So we shall see. Well, let all good checks and balances work yep. itself hopefully, out. Well, hopefully we'll see. So there's a big rally on Thursday. Where's this rally going to be? Right here in City Hall where <laughs> you can come down and just go nuts and have at it. And then go get a drink in and the Grove get after. get a drink out of the Grove. <laughs> I, yeah, we recommend uh, Mr. One Pizza. It's oh, very, we like Mr. Warm. One. Oh, yeah. one. It's very, very yummy. We had a brunch at Kush at Spillover in the Mayfair yep. Plaza there. Yep. I had never had, we well, eat there all the time, but right. I had never had breakfast brunch there. Right. And uh, my husband and I did that Sunday morning. That was delicious. Yeah, you guys looked very, I saw some of the pictures. You guys looked very, very happy. <laughs> we happy. were. <laughs> Happier. So, uh, yeah, I think, uh, and then from a real estate standpoint, just in general, the market still stays the same way. It is very, very active. Uh, we are getting deals done for buyers. We are definitely getting really, deals really done. Which is really, really, very difficult to do. And again, we touched on it in another episode. But I think one of the things that you have is that they trust you. They trust you as an agent. Yeah. They know that you're going to be able to get the deals done. And I think that's critical to, you know, doing doing well in this business. And, you know, a, a comment I've gotten from both uh, clients and other agents is, <laughs> makes me laugh every time they mm-hmm. say it. They said, thank you for answering the phone. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and I, you know, sometimes I don't answer the phone. I tr- do call back. Yeah. Sometimes I'm sure I've missed somebody. So I'm yeah. apologizing yeah. if I've yeah, missed yeah, your right, call. Right. Um, but I get that all the time. Thank you for answering the phone. This doesn't happen often. Yeah. No, it's, <laughs> I always laugh. Yeah, and, and it's important to note that especially, you know, us uh, in the real estate business, our phones and our emails are so prevalent. We're subject to so many scam a uh, lot. searches. Yeah. I mean, I got a call the other day from somebody saying, listen, I don't know if you know your number's been used for scam calls. And it's like, I'm thinking, well, no, but you know, we are in real estate, so maybe we're just like spam anyway. So, right, we uh, are the spam. Yeah, we are the spam <laughs> uh, that's out there. But I think, uh, oh look over there, that's Robert's boat, a, fr- a friend of mine, Oh. up on the up on the dock there. Uh, yeah. Uh, we're also, ba- where we're sitting also is the new development that is gonna be down here uh, where Scotty's used to be. It's a restaurant. It's do we know two, yeah, two restaurants? Yeah. But do we know which restaurants? Uh, what they are, companies? I know that at, when they last, when I last checked, uh, they were seafood restaurants. Uh, one was mm-hmm. going to be a Peruvian. Uh, I don't know if it's still that way. This this project goes back about six or seven years. Wow. And then also you'll see that the um, the, the main hangar is going to be turned into a food court. Oh, that's going to so be that cute. So that hangar over, over there. there yeah. yeah. So that's a Pan Am hangar. That's a historic. Well, that's thing. exciting. Although yeah. I will always forever miss Scotty's. Yeah. It was one of the uh, one of those the, places. The classic fried uh, fish. And anybody that comes down to Miami, we expect all of this great seafood. One of our biggest uh, issues with seafood here is everything is, that's good is line caught. You can't like mass produce it. So right. uh, it gets expensive really fast. Yeah. So I think that's one of the things. But again, going back from a real estate standpoint, if you're out there, just stay, stay you know, persistent. You have to stay persistent. And uh, I've been asked about the interest rates. You know, mm-hmm. uh, buyers have asked me, hey, the interest rates are rising. Does that mean it's kind of calming down? And it really isn't. No, no. <laughs> I hate to tell you guys, yeah. but it really isn't calming down. And uh, 
I've said this to two of my buyers and I'll tell it to other ones. I'd rather you buy something now that yeah. you don't really like than continue to rent. You know, if you're ready to make that uh, purchase and you have your dollars saved up, you're ready to buy, it doesn't have to be your forever home. No. You know, make that first move, make that sacrifice. It's worth it. It definitely is. And, and as an old dude, I can tell you that if you are, like I'm working now with a, a young guy, 29 years old, mm -hmm. and we went to look at a place yesterday, an international park. Funny story, my father-in-law actually helped finance that development back in the <laughs> 80s. So going back a long, long time. But you're, you, I went in there and I'm thinking to myself, you know, it was $230,000. Right. And I'm thinking, if you're 29 years old and you are, have the ability to get in there, Right. and try to buy that. That is your first investment property. You're starting to build your wealth in real estate yeah. simply because that becomes your first investment rental property uh, in the future where you will be able to, you know, 20 years down the road, you don't think about it, but 20 years down the road ain't that far away. It really and, isn't, and it's your little bank. Yeah, it's your, and, it, and it's something that you can turn it into. It. Use it now for, and it's a good investment strategy. You use it now for your growth period, and then it gets to the point, like Ashley just mentioned, it's not your forever home. No. It's you're gonna be you're gonna be elsewhere, and uh, and then what you do is you've built a little bit of a nest egg uh, at a price point that you know and you can afford. And I hear concerns, you know, I don't want to buy at the height of the market. In Miami and Florida, there's the height, the ceiling just keeps going. So, yeah, we don't, we can't build. And, you know, and we harp on this all the time. There's nowhere to build. Right behind us is water. And, you know, Biscayne Bay and, and the Atlantic Ocean is on. And I can side. literally run to the Everglades. Exactly. And you can make it to the Everglades <laughs> or Doral, as I so lovingly call it. Uh, but you can get out there really quick and you yeah. just cannot build anymore unless you change the zoning laws. And that's another thing that, you know, goes into the political aspect of it. But I think... Uh, I think it's I think it's going to maintain itself. I haven't seen I haven't seen any indicators that tells me that it's going to slow down. Right. You know, and again, I just see, you know, I think the big move from uh, anything is in 25 when, you know, the tax cut changes. But I really don't believe that the tax cut is going to change. Everybody's taking advantage of it. Yeah. yeah so we'll, we'll see. We'll see what plays out. We shall see. Anything else? No, that's it. It's beautiful weather in Miami. Yeah. I have a feeling this is our last cold yep. snap. Yep. It's cold as I'm in a tank exactly top. Exactly right. Cold <laughs> and I'm in shorts. So yeah. Um, I, I think this is the last one of the yeah. season. And I think we are ready for the humidity level to start kicking up. Yeah. And uh, that's if you want to visit Miami on the cheap, that's when you come down here because it's everybody sweaty. Will give you some, but you will be miserable. Uh, it's light packing. Yeah. Just pack a bikini. Yep, that's it. That's all that's you need it. to bring, really. <laughs> just a bikini and a pair of shorts, and you're good to go through the whole through the whole process. But again, I thank you uh, for uh, checking us out. We will promise to have another one on Friday for updating the veto, okay. the whole redistricting thing. This okay. is going to continue. This is going to end up with lawsuits, and we've mentioned it'll probably end up eventually with a, c a citizens' referendum, adding seven commissioners, and <laughs> making sure that uh, just uh, it's going to be a zoo. But Again, it's Miami. We're a pirate town. We'll always be a pirate town, and it is what it is. So thank you again for joining us. Ash, anything else? That's it. Have You're a out. beautiful day. All Bye, right. guys. Be good. Take it easy. Good to see you.